Shingle pack skinks like this fella here are amazing lizards. But if you're at all familiar with them, one fact that gets thrown around an awful lot is that these guys are monogamous or that they mate for life. But in this video, we're going to talk about whether or not this is really true, what monogamy means for an animal, and uh, if it is, what's the benefits to being a monogamous reptile? Stick around, guys. <laughs> To really talk about this, the first thing that we've got to get out of the way is discuss what is monogamy. And from a biological point of view, a monogamous animal is anything that establishes a breeding pair over an extended period of time. This could be something that a pair stay together for a single season, like many penguins, to a perennially monogamous animal, where the pairs stay together season after season, to a lifetime commitment that we see in some animals. Now, this is rare in the animal kingdom, but certainly not unheard of. You see, something like 90% of birds have been recorded forming monogamous pairs, and somewhere between 3 and 9% of mammals, but in the reptiles, it is almost unheard of, with the major exception being shingleback skinks. You see, a study done on these guys in South Australia found that one third of all the pairs of shinglebacks that they found sought each other out, paired up with the same pair each year for at least five years in a row. During the 27 year study, they had over 100 pairs of shinglebacks that sought each other out for 10 years or more, and one pair that is still continuing to seek each other out 27 years later. So that is a very long-term commitment, especially as far as a reptile goes. But why do they do this? Like we said, most reptiles do not form any sort of partnerships like this. It's incredibly rare in reptiles. And from a biological perspective, there has to be a benefit or it simply wouldn't happen. This is because the way that evolution works is usually there's a selective pressure for a certain trait, something that makes that trait more advantageous than the alternative. And in the vast majority of monogamous animals, the benefits of monogamy could be something like shared parental care. For example, in things like arcanids or animals that live in groups where they can share the role of caring for and protecting babies, providing food for them. And it increases the chances of those babies surviving and thus passing on those genes. The other major benefit to some animals of forming a long-term pair is that it gives sort of a guaranteed paternity. A male, by guarding his female, will know for a fact that he's going to get offspring from that female. But in these guys, these two ideas don't really seem to mesh. You see, there's not really any real paternal care in shinglebacks. Yes, babies will hang alongside mum, but it's not like a mammal where she's got to feed and nourish these guys. They're sort of hanging out in the same vicinity and they're fleeing or running for cover when she runs for cover. The father has no role in it whatsoever. As far as defending their female from other males, in studies we've found that male shinglebacks that are a part of an established pair show no extra aggression to other male shinglebacks than they would if they were by themselves. So it doesn't seem to be the case here. While the most common benefits of monogamy might not really be applicable to the shingleback skink, scientists do have two potential other ideas of benefits that shinglebacks might get from forming long-term monogamous pairs. The first one is that scientists noticed that pairs that were living together Females were twice as likely to be eating when they were encountered as either the male that they were with or females living by themselves. Basically, they're thinking that by having a male present, he's looking out for danger, she's able to rely on him to observe for predators, and she's able to devote more time to finding for and ingesting food. Then, able to put more calories into producing over more embryos and produce bigger, healthier babies that are more likely to survive themselves and pass on these traits. The other potential benefit is that they found that established pairs, pairs that had mated the year before, were quicker to find each other and mate earlier in the season than animals that had to seek out a partner all over again. By getting the jump start on other animals, they were able to produce their babies earlier in the season with more time left before it either gets too dry, too cold, the food disappears, for those babies to grow and establish themselves. And those babies, hypothetically, may be more likely to survive the lean times ahead than something that's born right at the end of the season, doesn't have much time to get itself established. So with all this in mind, while monogamy might still be an unusual trait to evolve for a reptile, in this particular example, it seems to be working. But going back to the initial question, does this mean shinglebacks mate for life? Well, some of them. 
You see, like we've found in this study, some shinglebacks, they meet, they mate, they go their own ways, and they might never cross paths again. More often, pairs seek each other out for several years in a row, but some pairs, they meet up year after year for decades on end, which is more than the vast majority of animals out there. I think this makes them one of the sweetest animals in the world and one of the most unique reptiles in Australia. Perhaps next time you guys are watching a Disney movie, Prince Charming, instead of being six foot four with blonde hair and blue eyes, should look like a pine cone gone under a steamroller. This guy's a sweet lizard and he's a very cool animal. And I hope you've enjoyed learning this unusual fact about one of Australia's most well-known reptiles. But if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave us a like, a comment, all that sort of stuff. Check on back next week because there's lots more wildlife content coming. But between now and then, as always, be nice to wildlife, have a good one and take care. Mm -hmm.